I got a new product here today, and this is the Halo RT2 smartwatch. Let's get into the product. Getting into the product, I've actually opened the product before now because I ordered it online and I had to check what I ordered versus what I got. So in the box, it has a proprietary charger, which is a two-pin connector. There is a manual, nobody reads the manual, and here is the main product, which is the watch, which comes with the band pre-installed. There's nothing else in the carton. The packaging is top-notch for me. Getting to the product, the display is covered with glass. The frame is made of metal, and it comes with a 14-hole silicone strap with metal buckle pre-installed. At the side, there are two buttons, and under the product, you have the charging pad and the sensors for heart rate and SPO2. This is the charger and it's a two pin proprietary connector with magnets to attach to the charging pads like this. Let's get the specs out of the way. The display is a 1.32 inch TFT touchscreen display which has a resolution of 360 by 360. It also has a 330 mAh battery which is rated to last for 12 days but I'll tell you how it lasted during my testing. The device comes with four sensors, the heart rate monitoring sensor, the SPO2 monitoring sensor for blood oxygen, accelerometer and motion tracking sensor for tracking your exercises. On this device, there is also Bluetooth 5.0 for connecting to your device and it supports Android 6.0 and iOS 11.0 and above. Some other features on this device include a countdown timer, a stopwatch, a find my phone feature and music control. The device comes with a sport mode which tracks 12 different activities which includes biking, yoga, outdoor running, climbing and a whole lot more. I'll leave the whole activities here on the screen so you can pause the video to check them out. There are two buttons. The button at the top is for turning on the screen and turning on the watch and the button at the bottom takes you straight into the exercise or sports mode. Swiping from the top, you can see the control center where you find your do not disturb, your brightness level, your settings and your find my phone feature. You can adjust the brightness of the watch by tapping this and selecting any brightness of your choice. Swiping from the bottom, you can see all the other features of this device. You see your stats, your BPM for your heart rate monitor, your SPO2 for your blood oxygen, your music control, your weather and a whole lot more. Surfing from left to right on the home screen, you can access quick features such as your trackings for the day, your heart rate monitor, your SpO2 monitor for blood oxygen, your breathing and breathe out exercise, your sleep monitoring, your weather and your back to the home screen. Tapping and holding on the home screen, you can select any watch face of your choice depending on the one you like. Tapping the bottom button, it takes you into the 12 spot mode which you can select anyone depending on the activity you are about to participate in. The watch also has a vibration motor which vibrates whenever your alarm rings or when you receive notifications which are actually sent from the phone to the watch. An integral part of the watch experience is the app. The app which works with the watch is called the Halo Phone app. With the app, you can control a lot of settings for the watch. For example, changing the watch face, setting alarm, setting the rate to wake feature and tracking some exercises such as biking which cannot function without the app. Given to the fact that the watch does not come with an inbuilt GPS, you actually need the app to track a lot of location based statistics for each sport event or exercise activity you perform. To connect the smartwatch to the phone is very easy. You can either download the Halo Phone app from the Android Play Store or the Apple App Store or you can scan the QR code on the manual and download the app. After downloading the app, you follow the steps on the manual to set up the app and connect it to the watch. Now, let's get to the pros and cons of this smartwatch. Let me start from the good parts. Starting with the strap, I like the silicone strap on the watch, it's so comfortable. I wore the watch for a whole day and I didn't feel any itch or pain. It's so tight and comfortable for me. The next thing I enjoyed very well on this smartwatch was its motion tracking. I took a couple of steps which I counted manually and when I checked the watch it identified the same number of steps. Another thing I enjoyed also was the heart rate monitoring which it monitors throughout the whole day. There were times where I did a couple of light exercises during the day and at the end of the day it showed me a graph which identified increased heart rate during those periods. For the SpO2 blood oxygen, I couldn't really test it because I don't have a pulse oximeter which is a medical device for checking blood oxygen in my house but given to the accuracy of the other features and the fact that it uses red lights to measure its blood oxygen, I believe it should be fairly accurate. Please note, this smartwatch is not a medical device. Do not replace any medical device reading with readings from this smartwatch. If you are getting value and enjoying this video, please subscribe. The other features I really enjoyed on this smartwatch were the race to wake feature, the push notifications and the fast Bluetooth connection between my phone and the smartwatch. Going to the not so very good part, the battery life. The battery life did not deliver as promised. It's a 330 mAh battery which was rated to last for 12 days under constant use. But during my 2 weeks of usage, I struggled to get it up to 7 days. 
The most I had was a 5 day which it barely survived throughout the 5th day. During my testing, I wore this watch for 12 hours during the day and throughout the night during my sleeping. There was a period where I wore it for 3 days consecutively, only taking it out when I went to take my bath. 5 days battery life was quite impressive but it's far from the 12 days promised by Halo. Another issue I encountered while using the watch was its sleep tracking. For the first 2 days when I tracked my sleep, it was fairly accurate tracking how many times I woke up in the night when I slept and when I woke up. After the initial 2 days of tracking my sleep, I tried to track my sleep a couple of times later and it never tracked my sleep. Then I realized if you sleep at any time after midnight, it will never track your sleep. And as a student, most times I sleep at or after midnight. That's an issue I think Halo should fix. All this being said, how much does this smartwatch cost? This smartwatch launched at $50, but I got it at a Black Friday deal for $37 from a local online store. Looking at the build quality and functions packed in this smartwatch, I don't think it's overpriced at $37, but if you're going to be getting this watch at $50, I think it's on the high side. If it had come with an inbuilt GPS, it would have been very okay by me. If you've enjoyed this video and gotten value out of this video, please like, share and subscribe. Drop any questions you have in the comments below. My name is Wachuku, this is Service School and I'll see you in the next video.